Ah, the sound of horsepower. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. Once again, I'm joined by Carly. No, no need to worry Mrs. Car Obsession, Carly is not another woman in my life. No, it is in fact this, an OBD reader. If you haven't seen my first video with this product, then please check out the link in the video description below. Now, before I go any further, just a disclaimer. Yes, this is paid promotion. Speaking of promotion, don't forget guys, I now have my own merch. Here's one of my lovely t-shirts. I'm modeling for you, pop-ups enabled. There are other designs available if you're not into your Mazda MX-5s. If you want to check the range out, please head over to controlandshift.com. Anyway, back onto the main topic of this video, which is of course Carly. Now, in the first video, I spoke about the, the um, code scan element of the product and gave you a brief overview of what Carly can do. In this video, as you can probably tell by the title, I am going to be covering the coding. Now, for what it's worth, the level of coding, the flexibility, the range of coding for this particular car, which is a Mark II Seat Leon Cupra, isn't quite as extensive as, let's say, uh, a newer BMW. And uh, with the BMWs, you've got a bit more scope in regard to the customization. But that isn't to say that you can't code this car. You, of course you can. You just have a few more limitations is the wrong word. What I will say is this is an older car. Therefore, um, the, the stuff you can code isn't quite as extensive. So, of course, Carly needs to be plugged in. I need to make sure that my screen is being recorded on my mobile because it stopped on the last uh, take. So I've had to film all of this over all over again. But hey-ho, these things happen. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so, da -da -da. I will just be faff faffing about for a few seconds. A screen recorder, start recording. Right, skip countdown. Okay, we should be in business. So I opened the app, of course, like any any modern day product, there's an app. But right, I need to grab the key. Turn on the ignition. Now, although it says uh, to turn on the, your engine, I've learnt through um, experimenting with Carly that you don't actually need to do that. You, as long as the ignition is turned on, that is sufficient. But I do need to turn on my, turn on my Bluetooth. That might be handy. There we go. Bluetooth on. Right. Make sure the screen is still recording on my phone. Yes. Good. Right. Connect. So Carly is now communicating with Leo. Leo is what I've called this car. In case you aren't a regular viewer, yes, I'm one of those sad idiots who names his cars. And that's now communicating. Okie dokie. So uh, coding, check compatibility. And again, the, the car and the device are talking to each other, sharing information. It does take a few moments, but do be patient. If you imagine the, the, the multitude of information that's being shared by uh, the device and the car, I'm sure you can appreciate. It will take uh, a minute or so for everything to, to get going. Just quickly, whilst I'm waiting for that, uh, I do apologize if, if the lighting is iffy. I do, of course, have the black roof lining, so there's not a lot of light coming into the vehicle. But probably a good thing because I, I look like an absolute state. Look, look at the state of my hair, look. This is the longest my hair has been since I was a toddler. Um, yeah, ho hopefully you can see better on this coat. Look, look how long my hair is. So as, as you, uh, as you uh, can probably tell in the UK, the uh, barbers and the hairdressers are still closed. So I think I have to get uh, my wife Patsy to, uh, to attack this bush with a hedge trimmer a little bit later this evening. Um, anyway, bad hairdos aside, back to the topic in hand. So I've got a choice of four modules I can code. So I've got ZE, KSG, Combi, and BM. So let's start with uh, ZE. I am going to load a backup. Now, as you can see, I've got loads of backups on here. Uh, I, have, uh, I have been playing about uh, with Carly. That sounds so somewhat uh, suggestive. Uh, I, I've been playing about with the product a lot 
as you can see. So I am going to load up the very first um, backup all the way from December last year. Uh, restore, yep, code anyway. So I'm now restoring the car to what it was before I started uh, doing any type of coding. There are lots of things I can code uh, for the sake of, of preventing this video from being really long. I'm only going to cherry pick a few things. And now if I get feedback from you guys for anything in particular, you'd like me to see me code, I will of course do separate videos. Uh, right, let's turn off, actually to be fair, it, it tells you to turn off the ignition and then turn it back on again. From my experience, for the most part, you don't normally need to do that. So for the sake of uh, this video, for the ZE function, uh, I am, let's move it out of the way. Uh, I am going to focus on the daytime running lights um, and the headlight cleaning. So because really those are the most obvious visual things I can show you. Um, actually, I, I could probably, uh, I might turn off the one touch signal. Yeah, let's do that as well, actually. Um, so now to make life easier, you can go to the top right where it says filter codings and you can actually choose a specific segment just in case you think, no, I want I want to go straight to that thing. You can do that and it makes it makes life uh, a lot quicker. So yes, uh, I'm going to code the daytime running lights. Now, as you can imagine on a car of this age, this is a 2007 model. This car from factory didn't really have daytime running lights like you would find on a brand new car. Uh, but you can kind of mimic a daytime running light setup. So I'm not based in the US, so I'm going to go uh, for Northern Europe. As you can probably tell by my accent, I'm based in the UK. But of course, I mentioned that earlier when I was talking about the hairdressers and the barbers. Uh, daytime running lights on. I'm going to keep the brightness to current value because when you play about with um, the brightness, it doesn't uh, doesn't code properly. Well, in my experience, at least. Uh, let's turn off the headlight cleaning, and let's turn off the. Uh, What's the other thing? One touch signal, there we go. I want to turn it off. So now, hopefully, ah, there we go. So hopefully on my exterior camera, you can see that the lights have now come on. Um, and also if I now turn on the headlights and use the windscreen washers. I'm hoping the headlights are still as dry as a bone. So in fact, let me just step out of the vehicle and check. Yep, the headlights are as dry as a bone. Oh, right. So that's worked. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, the one touch signal. So, so the one touch signal, basically, you just hit, hit, hit it like that. Yep, there we go, it's not working. So the one touch si signal, you tap it up like that and the indicator will flash three times. So let's say you're on the motorway and you want to do a quick, over well, a quick lane change. You don't actually want to do a proper indicator um, procedure you can just do that tap it and it just flashes three times as you can see as and as you can hear that's now being turned off so that gives you an idea of what you can do with the um, ZE module I will just um, scroll down a little bit so you can see what else is possible so let's turn off the daytime running lights um, now, theoretically speaking, uh, to be pedantic, in the UK at least, you shouldn't have your front fog lights on. Well, you, you shouldn't have any fog lights on unless it is fog foggy. If you found a policeman that is pedantic enough, uh, he or she uh, um, can fine you if you have your fog lights on when it isn't foggy. But like I say, you'd have to find a very pedantic and, bo uh, and bored policeman, or sorry, police person. Try and keep things as uh, politically correct as possible. Um, right, so that's turned off. Uh, I'm gonna turn the one touch signal back on and turn on the headlight cleaning. 
So restore. So now if I turn the lights off, you'll see that the, uh, that the fog lights and the uh, side lights are now off. So I've, I've lost the daytime running light function. Uh, if I do that, can you hear that now? Hopefully you can see it on my camera outside as well. The one touch function is now back. And if I turn the lights back on and use the windscreen wa washers, the headlight cleaning should now be back on. Yep, I know that because I've just been sprayed by it. So that's all working as it should do. Fantastic. So that's the uh, the ZE side of things. Like I said, there is uh, much more you can play about with, but I want to try and keep this video as short as possible. Um, right, so let's go, <coughs> excuse me, go back uh, and go to KSG. Uh, by the way, guys, I am hoping to bring you uh, a new discount code. So um, I, hopefully that'll be down here for you guys and it'll be in the video video description. So if you go through my link in my video description, um, that will have my referral code in there. So if you use the discount code, you'll be saving money, which is good for you. And uh, when, you, when you use my referral code, I get a bit of commission per sale, which is good for me. Um, so that will help to support my channel. So it is very much a win-win scenario. Uh, right, KSG. Um, Let's load up the backup. So I want the was I want that one there. So in this one, this does your your central locking. It does your uh, your comfort functions as well. And you can also choose what kind of alarm you want. Now I'm not going to play about with the comfort settings. Now the comfort settings uh, is basically you have the global opening and closing of the window. So if you hold down the unlock button on the key fob. All of, the, all of the windows will drop down. And if you hold down the lock button, they will go back up. My car has also got the uh, the folding wing mirror, so they will fold automatically um, when you use that function. The reason why I'm not doing that is because that uh, wing mirror, door mirror, doesn't work properly. Uh, I've got it I've got it perfectly set how I want it to. I don't want it to try and fold itself because there's a good chance that it won't come back out. So that does need to be replaced. Also, I don't want to open the windows because I've got that GoPro attached and that's going to make life a little bit tricky. So um, for the sake of this part of the coding, I am going to focus on quite simply um, the do, 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 uh, the audible confirmation when you lock the car. Now, of course, you, you may have spotted that you've got one for the sunroof. I don't have a sunroof, therefore that isn't applicable. In regard to the options whereby you can choose not um, to allow the car to lock itself when you get up to a certain speed. I have tested it and that does work. So uh, this car, when you get past what I think is about 10 miles per hour, uh, it will lock itself. Uh, but when you turn that function off, of course it doesn't do that. The car remains unlocked. Um, so yes, I'm going to choose the audible confirmation for locking the vehicle. Turn that on. Where's the other one? Uh, yeah, there we go and restore so this one's a really simple one to demonstrate just wait for it to code uh, to do what it is doing okay there we go so now if i take the key out and lock the car just listen out hear that a kind of uh, a beep so that's the ksg um side of things covered well briefly covered I should say so I'll just scroll down a little bit so you can have a look to see um, what else you can do so let's now go to combi um, which, oh, which is um, so the combi one, it's not really too much you can change here, but um, as you can see, you can turn off the seat belt reminder and you can turn off the warning for the washer fluid. Now you may wonder why you'd want to turn, turn off the seat belt reminder. Uh, that's because, um, let's say for example in the UK, if you are medically exempt from wearing a seat belt, obviously you don't want to be driving down the road and the car keeps going bong, 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 bong at you because um, of course you haven't got your seatbelt on. Now I suppose a, a way around it would be to 
do the seatbelt up behind you and then sit on it, but that may, may be uncomfortable. So you can turn that off. Where is my little camera? Oh, my little camera's outside. Well, I recorded this anyway um, previously. So if I turn it off and restore, you should see very shortly the icon for the, um, there we go, uh, has gone. The seatbelt reminder icon has gone. And therefore, if you now were to drive down the road, it wouldn't go bong, 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 bong. Because you haven't got your seatbelt on. Now I'm going to code that back in because I've got no reason to, to have it off. So restore, and then in a flash, the lights will return. There we go. Very quick, very slick, very efficient. And that's, ex that's, what, you that's what you expect from the Germans, isn't it? Efficiency, because Carly is a German, uh, a German company. So yeah, that's the seatbelt reminder. Quite, uh, quite simple, quite, quite straightforward. Uh, and if we go to the last one, which is BM. Now there may be a reason behind this, but for this particular car, at least, uh, it doesn't do doesn't work. Now, you will see some icons flash up um, on the on the dash. So it, it 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 does look like it is trying to do something, but um, as you can see, uh, unfortunately, coding has failed. Now I have tried by, I have comp, uh, looked in, uh, looked into the quick, um, the Aaron spit your words out, man. I have looked into the uh, troubleshooting. And I have tried uh, the things on here, but um, they haven't worked. So if I now, if I were to turn the engine on, for example, because any excuse to hear the uh, non-resonated Cobra Sport back exhaust. That's why I'm putting the window down. So even with the engine on, if I were to go to read from car, mm. ah, the sound of horsepower, 326 of them to be precise. No, it still hasn't worked, but never mind. But uh, BM, that's uh, that's for the tire uh, tire pressure monitoring. Um, Ooh. I couldn't resist, although my, my neighbors will start to hate me. Um, so yeah, so let's turn the engine off. It's lovely as the exhaust is, so there's no need to, to leave the engine running for no reason. Um, so yeah, the BM module, there may be a reason uh, why I, I can't access it. So I will have a chat with, with the, uh, the lovely people at Carly to see um, why that may be. But yes, there we have it, guys. There, there is a, an overview of the kind of coding you can do for a car like this. I do hope you have enjoyed it or, or found it useful. Uh, just to prompt you once more, if you do want to purchase Carly, then uh, the link is in the video description below. And hopefully I'll have a brand new discount code for you guys as well. So you, I'll help you save a little bit of money. So yes, uh, if you have enjoyed it or found it helpful or found it useful, uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.